Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hello! What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Free Roam, Weathertop, Quests and Collectibles. Uh, no, that is not a typo. I didn't make a mistake. We are grabbing one of zero red bricks and uh, eight of eight mithrils. And we're going to grab Thror Armored Edition and the Great Goblin as well. Now, uh, why is that one of zero there, you ask? Well, because if you remember and you've been following along, in Bree, we were actually a few mithril bricks shy of being able to forge the beanstalk, the mithril beanstalk, and uh, was not... Uh, Oh, well, we weren't able to go ahead and complete that quest. So as a result, we're going to show you. See, here it is right there, down in Bree. It's a nighttime quest. Once you flip it to night, it will show as a red question mark. However, uh, we're going to go ahead and knock out a few mithril bricks first. So uh, if you already have that red brick, maybe you had enough mithril bricks to nail it, uh, don't worry. We're going to go ahead and get some more. If uh, you're looking for specifically for that red brick, which happens to be the 8 X or the eight times stud multiplier. Uh, use the quick links down below and head to the last one. It's actually uh, towards the 16 minute mark of the video, which should have a link down below. Meanwhile, follow the uh, yellow brick road, as I've been saying, to the next quest, which happens to be uh, a mithril brick inside a cave back over yonder. So this one's a little bit wonky. And uh, just to help out, we went ahead and posted the, uh, well, we will here in about three, two, one. Oh, bam. Uh, the actual color scheme here. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, blue equals north, orange equals south, green equals west, and red equals east. So, uh, yeah. For those of you a little confused, green, west, that's left. Red, east, that's right. Uh, don't listen to Doug. Doug's bad about left and right. He still has to hold up his hands and point his L's to the sky, you know. Yeah, he's not sure how to figure that one out still. But once you get those all in sync, booyaka it'll drop down there. And uh, there are a couple of items that were uh, destroyed, like the mithril block over on the right-hand side that we need Saruman for and things like that. But you've already completed free play and all that, we're assuming by now, because you shouldn't be going through free roam if you haven't. All right, moving along. The next mithril brick is actually right around the corner. We're going to target that. It's actually by one of the start points for one of the missions. So maybe you've already grabbed this guy. It's one of the more commonly grabbed ones or so I've been told. We're going to make our way up the hill, following the yellow brick road as, uh, as before. And here we go, here we go. Check this out. We need either a troll or the stone giant gloves. I think that's what they're called. And, uh, yeah, buddy, go ahead and pull it open and boo you ka All right, there's a lot of shenanigans going on up there. We're going to not mess with that right now, though. So uh, we're going to target the next brick, which is actually up next to Thror. So, hey, maybe we're going to go for a dude instead of uh, a brick. So... We're going to hop on our mount and all right this next one is kind of a funky situation here uh not only is the brick up high and kind of a weird angle to jump up to but it's also behind like this door and i found out afterwards that there is another way to get to this place but you know what we got elves, and elves got hops, so why go the long way and have to do all this crazy stuff to get up here? Because I actually fell down the hole that you have to climb up, and then I had to do all the stuff to climb back up the hole to get where I was. Anyways, use an elf. Jump over just like I did. I don't know if that's an exploit, if that'll be fixed in a patch at some point, or if you can jump off your buddy or what, but go ahead and do it. And once you do, sneak inside and throw our armored edition is going to cost you a measly 45k. Which isn't much, especially if you get that red brick at the end of this video. It'll add up rather quickly. And right here in the back side, there's also a chest. Go ahead and destroy that. And it'll open up the doors and present us with yet another moment in LEGO blooper history. All right. Uh, I know I've been talking throughout the last couple of games that I might make a blooper video. And if time presents itself, I might go ahead and do it. But this is definitely one of those moments that... Uh, Whoopsie! I'm not sure. I switched characters. I tried a couple of action moves. Tried ducking, jumping, running. Nothing. Fail. So, uh, eventually he did pop out, and we just kept on keeping on. So, since uh, we're gonna select the next mithril brick, which is a little closer to Weathertop, since we kind of wandered away from the actual point of origin, we're gonna fly back because that's a heck of a lot quicker. Now, uh, make sure that you head to the left when you do. 
arrive in Weathertop and head over to the bottom of this giant stone or mountain. And uh, at that point, the doors will open and you will find yourself inside this awesome little cave. Well, there's some spears on the right. You basically got to stand on that to slow them down. If you move quick enough, you can actually get over there. I'm sure you can do this without dying, but really there's no reason why it matters if you die. It's not like you only got five guys or something. So we're going to go ahead and press it, which gives us a little bit of relief. We step on the second one and bam, get speared in the face. But it was enough to drop the rocks in the back, which allowed us to get to that chest. Blast the chest and it gives us the handle. Handle allows us to spam, 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 spam. So we'll go ahead and nail that. And uh, I do actually say that when I'm pushing the button while playing too, just, just in case you guys are wondering. Yep, it's pretty ridiculous over here. All right, jump all the way to the top, zigzagging back and forth, and you'll grab that mithril brick and head on out, and we'll move to the next one, which actually happens to be at nighttime. So we're going to head to the campfire, and as you might have guessed it, as always, we're going to pull out our wieners and light some fires and see what happens. I can tell you what happens. We speed up the video and try to get through this as fast as possible. Awkward. I still don't understand that. S'mores, people. That would have been much funnier. The wieners was funny once. Now it's getting old. I'm sure my wiener jokes are getting older. Yeah, buddy. All right, so we're through that. Whew. It's a rough night. Nothing like, uh, yeah, never mind. I'm going to leave that one alone. All right. As my, as my good buddy Big Marv would say, no comment. All right. Speaking of which, we're going to go ahead and target the Goblin King, or the Great Goblin, sorry. I wanted to call him the Goblin King, but that's uh, that's another movie. And uh, we'll slide in there. And there he is, standing there, his girth hanging out. And uh, look at that, he's only 15K. Easy peasy, go ahead and purchase him and uh, add him to your list of dudes and dudettes. And then we'll go ahead and bounce out of this old cave. And up top, or I guess around the corner, I should say, and up top. We gotta go up this spiral mountain. And there's a couple of dudes, a couple of orcs waiting to go on a little mission, but they're waiting for their good buddy. And uh he's got a he's got a pretty awesome name. We'll get to that in a second. And uh this is another one of those costume moments. So you will have to venture out to Lake Town and uh put on a costume and then return. And here we go. Flamgog. That's right. You never thought this morning when you woke up that you were going to uh, try to dress up like Flamgog, Flamgog, right? <laughs> I can't even say it. All right, so all right, it presents us with the costume. Basically, it's the orc chest piece and the orc helmet, and those can both be purchased in Lake Town in the custom creator or custom area creator. And uh, what's going on up there? Who's shooting me? Who I say? <laughs> You know I can't resist a ridiculous owl joke when it presents itself. All right, so as I just mentioned a minute ago, we're going to head on out to Lake Town. Ka -ka 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 -ka! We sped this up, as you can tell. <laughs> Got the old uh, five-hour energy rolling there. Maybe a Red Bull. Anyways, we are now in Zord, and we're going to head all the way to the back corner because it gives us our point of reference. You can see that we definitely have one costume out and about that we need to fill. So we're going to go ahead and head on over to the uh, costume square, step on it, and select a new person because we uh, you never know. We might need our scarecrow or our chicken person. And we're going to go ahead and buy all these helmets right now just because uh, it's going to help us later. And it's also going to guide you guys to uh, all the rest of them. So next time when there's a costume one, you won't have to watch this one. You can use the quick link down below because this is a long mithril brick. And if you guys are actually already uh, have accomplished this and you want to move on, feel free to use the quick links down below or simply skim through. I mean, quick links are the smartest way to go because it takes you right to where you're supposed to be. But if you want to scroll, then feel free. You can see on the chest piece there on the body over on the right hand, kind of, I wouldn't say middle, but uh, second row from the bottom, there is an orc piece. We're going to go ahead and grab that. And now we're getting closer. We definitely have a, a, a pretty steady look. We got a goblin helmet on. That's definitely the wrong thing. So we know we need another helmet, and I was having a hard time visualizing. I couldn't see it. But if you look over on the right-hand side in the middle row, you will see that there are a couple of items that need to be purchased. So once we uh, figure out what in the heck's going on here, we go over there. There's a hat right there and a couple hats. Oh, there we go. Orc. 
Cost you 15k or so, so there will be some money involved in this, but by now you probably have more than enough studs to handle that, and if not, go pillage a couple of boxes and stuff outside in Lake Town, and uh, you'll find what you need. All right, we have tremendously sped this up again, so... All right, I, I tried to speed up my uh, sound effects, too. I don't know if that worked or not. You tell me. Uh, pretty ridiculous, I'm sure, but uh, you never know. Might have, might have brought a smile to that face of yours. And uh, by the way, have I mentioned that you smell lovely today? It's true. And uh, all right, so we're going to head all the way to the top, and we're up here. And remember, you got to put on your costume, and it's always good to, to remember which costume character uh, or which custom character, rather, you selected. Because uh, <laughs> I'm having a hard time. Turns out it's H. So last but not least, we're going to go ahead and select H, and there he is. And now we're going to go ahead and get in line over here. Yep, come on, come on. I'm, I'm the same way, crossing my arms, wait, waiting for it. All right, old Flamgogs here for re reporting for business. <laughs> All right, now this might be one of the most annoying parts in the game, and I'm assuming this was just something that happened on my end. It's probably not on everybody's, but maybe you guys had it happen too. Basically, now these guys are ready to go on a quest, and so what they do is they go to the bottom of this mountain, and you'll see them here in a second. There's a couple of little mini mining game or mining mini games, and uh, they're just going to town. Now, basically, I thought this was part of the deal. Like, I, I know I just got paid a mithril brick, but I was like, oh, this must be a second part of it or something. So I go ahead and I mine these. I don't think it's relevant or needed, uh, to be honest with you. But the sound, the sound that they're doing, cling, 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 cling. Oh, my gosh, that was driving me nuts. And it, like, continues to go on. I go to the next mission. It's still going on. So I recommend going into the cave that's on the left side over here, just right around the corner, and it'll reset that for you. So uh, trust me, it was annoying. You hit the mute button and all that. But uh, right at the base, right next to where they are, there's a new dude. And uh, we're going to go ahead and chat with him. And he says that there's uh, some suspect activity going on up top. So we're going to follow him all the way back up top, even though we were just up there, and uh, make our way all the way back and find out there's some baddies up there that need uh, a little bit of an attitude adjustment, let's just say. So we're going to cha 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 our way all the way through 15 of these guys. Do a little course correcting here for him. Yep, yep, that's right. Pow, right in the kisser. Pow, right in the kisser. Oh, yep, come on. Come, body slam, body slam, come on. You know, in, in previous, the Lego Lord of the Rings and a, even Lego the movie, for that matter, doing the old jump slam was usually the most effective as far as attacks go, but it doesn't seem to be the case in this particular rendering of the Lego peoples. But, uh, yeah, we, we completed that, so woo -hoo! Another Mithril Brick added. We're uh, getting that much closer to being able to purchase that nice red brick that's back in Bree. See it flashing down there in the corner? See it? I See, I'm even giving you a second shot at it. And uh, All right, so this one was a little confusing to me because the little carrot icon takes you right to where you need to go, except for then it shows it way off in the distance. So a little bit of a GPS error. We'll blame Google for that one, right, TT Games? Yeah, of course it wasn't a, a mishap of the programming error or anything like that, right? So... Uh, but essentially, you got to go down and talk to this guy. I'm sure you probably didn't have a problem because you probably just saw him and talked to him. Whereas I'm trying to document where he is and then go talk to him. A little bit more difficult. but uh, So again, I've sped this up tremendously. and uh, So we build this up for him right quick. Uh, you know, I think I missed one. Nope, perfect. That's right. Pay the man. He's got a perfect build. All right, and uh, this will actually reward us with a, another Mithril Brick, actually number seven. So we got one more Mithril Brick we're going to obtain, and then we're actually going to head back and go grab that, uh, well, that red brick that's going to cost us a fortune. And we got a little, I wouldn't say it's a trick, but it's uh, a little helpful tip to help you get that money if you're lacking, because it does cost you 10 million studs to buy that red brick. So... Oh, okay. So we got that down, and it's a nice little catapult. We'll go ahead and help Buddy out real quick, too. It doesn't do us any good, but give us a little bit of loot. But, uh, hey, we're always up for some extra loot, right? So look at He's like, what's that? Who? Who? Oh! Oh, no, Mr. Bell! Anybody remember that? Mr. Owl. I should have said Mr. Owl. That would have that made more sense. But I like Mr. Bill. Anyways. Moving along, moving along. Right around the way, we're going to follow to... This young lad here, and he's uh, he's at a, he's got a quandary going here. 
and uh, he needs us to help build this bridge for him. So we are going to help out by escorting him back to Bree. So I'm sure we'll probably come help him build the bridge another time. But essentially all we're doing here is just providing a little escort service. And no, not the kind in Las Vegas that will get you in trouble. The kind that actually uh, sticks to its meaning, escorting him back to Bree from Weathertop. And along the way, I think you see probably 30 or so bad guys come out of nowhere. Some of them actually grow right out of the ground, while others kind of come off in the backsides of your screens. And uh, to be completely honest with you, pretty easy. They weren't hurting me. And uh, by now, if you've been following along in our Middle Earth trudging videos, we, uh, we've actually got the regenerative hearts as well. So, uh, yeah, you should be pretty healthy right now and not worried about dying too much. And if you don't have them, well, you know, watch the video, get it, or actually just obtain those hearts after putting the smack down on them goblins. All right, so we're at the we're at the doors of Bree, which means uh, he's at safety, yet he's, oh, one last little straggler we had to take care of. So he's going to make his way in, thank us by paying us with a mithril brick, and then we're going to go back and get that glorious red brick that's going to sure help get us paid because, uh, you know, we're still a long ways away from that uh, trophy achievement for, what is it, 10 billion? I mean, that's a lot. I mean, it'll come fast. I know. I know how it works. But usually we have most of the multipliers by now as far as how much time has been played. Uh, but this game didn't really work out that way. It was a little uh, too back and forth for our liking. So uh, we're going to just get it here in a little bit. And I know a few of you have already even finished the game and uh, only got to use a few of our videos, and we apologize for that. But perfection over production, always how we roll here. All right, we're back in Bree, and we uh, find ourselves holding on to the Mithril Beanstalk. We did, we did do a quick edit back there if you didn't see it, and stopped along with the uh, blacksmith there and forged it up. And then we are making our way back down over to her now, as you can see, and... Yeah, so here it is. She's all excited, and then we are all excited, and then we forgot about one big factor. We are just about eight million short of being able to pay for this thing. So some reward for doing all that work, getting all those bricks and forging it for her, and then she's going to stick us with a $10 million bill? Come on. All right, so we have uh, gone. What we did was we actually cut it, edited it, went back, or actually, that's what we're going to do, I should say. We're going to show you. We're going to head all the way back to Erebor. And if you haven't played the bonus level already, it's uh, pretty close to where you start from in Erebor. And we're not going to go there and show you the whole thing. We have a video for the bonus level, where it is, how to get there, and whatnot. But each time you complete it, you get a million studs. So, uh, you know, it takes about two and a half minutes to complete that. It takes about two and a half minutes to get to it. So you're looking at about five to seven minutes of, uh, you know, Travel and uh, smash time, because that's all it is, and you'll get a million. So it adds up pretty fast, and when you only need, you know, hey, you only need three or four or something like that. I needed eight. It took me probably an hour, but uh, it was worth it, because now I have that eight times. Now we're all caught up on the bricks, and we can move along. So, hey, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. HappyThumbsGaming.com is available, too. You guys are awesome. Almost every day we get at least, like, well... We get a handful of new subscribers, new eyes hitting our website, new ideas being brought to our social pages. And, uh, you know, it sounds so cliche and so lame, but, uh, you know, you guys are the force that drives this ship. You are the ones that motivate us to do what we do. So, uh, you know, hey, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this free roam series. Uh, most of these are out there and fairly obvious, but there's definitely some tricky ones. And those tricky ones were worth it for you guys to ask and for me to do. And now I'm doing so. Hey, thanks for everything you guys provide for us. If you guys have any more information that would help us help you, give it to us. And, uh, you know, as always, until next time. Do, 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 do. Plop.